वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे निंदोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोद गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदवन मनोहर वाचा कल्पतरुवश के पास बच पतिता पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुखती बाचाल पंगुंगल हेतगिरी यत्की पातमहंग बंधि परमानंदमाधव बृंदाव तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच कृष्णभक्ति पद देवी सत्वत्त नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंजनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो धीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्रश प्रकाश ने च सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्येय सदा परिभवग्नमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भीताहम पुनतपाल भवदीपूत वंदे महापुरशते चरणारविंद यत्दपल्लवन कचंदमि छटाय विस्फुजीत किमी गोमधुषुदर्शि पूर्णागर सुसागर सारूर्ति सारधि कामय कदा श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्रीअदगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनकाबदा तो संकर्तन कवितरो कमलायुताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदी तो दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति तदा भावान्ूपेन सदा नरान गंगातरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तो वाम भाग नारायणो प्रियमनुंगमदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज भीश्वनाथ वागीशजुष्वदने लक्ष्मीजस्व बक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संबीद निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आ 
Acharyor Aranir Adyo Shad Anteva Oshi Uttararani Tat Provachanam Sandhyanam Vidya Sandhi Shukhavaha Acharyor Aranir Adyo Shad Anteva Oshi Uttararani Tat Provachanam Sandhyanam Vidya Sandhi Shukhavaha Gauriya Goshipati, Sri Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Dr. Prabhupada, Paramahansa Jagadguru told that Acharya can never be elected or selected by any committee. Acharya can never be selected or elected by any committee. It is not possible. Acharya is self-manifesting. Gauriya Goshtipati, Sri Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Dr. Prabhupada, Paramahansa Jagadguru told, it is not possible to elect or select for Acharya. Acharya is self-manifesting object. So, by our personal effort, nobody can act as Acharya. By their personal effort, or, or by the effort of somebody, they are going to favor him. We can give you vote in, in favor of you. So we can make you Acharya. This way Acharya can never be elected. Acharya is deputed by Bhagavan. Bhagavan sending Acharya here in this material world to deliver us. This is the fact. That's why Bhagavan told Acharya Maam Bijanya. Acharya Maam Bijanya. Be sure that I am Acharya. I am coming in the form of Acharya. Those who are crazy people fighting in temple to become Acharya. There is a great lesson for great lesson for them. I know they cannot accept this lesson. I know they cannot accept. They desire to become Acharya. I will be Acharya. It is their desire. Annavilas. Topmost Annavilas. This kind of Annavilas can only throw you into the ocean of misery can throw you into the ocean of Maya. I mean, in hell. This way you cannot. Not possible. The sloka I started with is very important sloka. Bhagavan Sri Krishna was speaking to Uddhavji Maharaj. Bhagavan Sri Krishna was speaking to Uddhavji Maharaj. Uddhav, Acharyur Aranir Adyo Shat Ante Vaushi Uttar Arani. If we take two dry pieces of wood, dry piece of wood, two pieces, one up and one down. Follow. And if you go on friction, very dry. Summer season, we have seen in Vrindavan, two dry trees. Due to air, friction, sharp fire, forest fire. This way, forest fire takes place. In the forest, there is some dry tree. Due to strong wind, friction going on, shut. Automatically, fire develops. And due to air, that fire taking a havoc form to burn the whole forest. Many times it is seen in Rajasthan, here, there, also in foreign country, so many places it is seen. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, my first point, where from fire coming? If I ask you, where from fire coming? Where from? But fire is already there inside wood. 
but in latent form, latent, you know, latent form. Fire is already there in the wood, but in latent form. But due to friction, fire exposed. Fire exposed. Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving this example to Uddhavji Maharaj, Uddhav, Acharjo. Acharjo means who is Acharan. Acharan, perfect Acharan. Who is capable of enlightening the Bhagyan inside you is called Acharya. Who is capable to en enlighten you know, the Bhagyan inside you is Acharya. So, actually, point is that if my Guru Padma cannot give the Bhagyan to me, there can be two reasons. One is Guru Padma is not uh, Sadguru, having no Tattagyan, or maybe the disciple is duplicate. Two reasons can be there. Or both. Two reasons can be there. One is Gurudev is fallen soul, acting as Acharya. He himself has no Dibhagyan. How he can give? Second disciple is Kapat, dupli dupli duplicate. And the third, both can be there. Gurudev fallen, is so fallen. Can be there. But Prabhupada speaking, it cannot so happen. It cannot so happen. It cannot so happen. That Guru Padma is, you know, great exalted devotee, having direct feeling. Shabde Parecha Nishnatam Brahmani Upasamasrayam. Guru Padma this. Then Guru Padma 100% can give you the Bhagyan, provided there is no duplicity inside you. Your saranagati, your submission is perfect, then uh, okay, no problem. So, Prabhupada wanted to explain us, so Prabhupada wanted to explain us, there is dikha procedure going on in different places. Dikha procedure going on in different places, but there is no question of the bhogyan. Papa speaking, how we can say this is, this is called Diksha? Papa speaking, this cannot be called Diksha. This cannot be called Diksha. Diksha is such a procedure by the help of you, by the help of which Gurudev can burn up all result of your sinful activities accumulated for births after birth. Birth after birth. All accumulated result of your sinful activities. Gurudev can burn up like there is a big amount of dry leaf and straw, and one spark, one spark of fire is more than sufficient. We have seen. In Karakpur, I went to attain the function of Sila Janadun Gusai Maharaj. They invite me, I, now I don't go anywhere. We have seen Harikatha going on, suddenly who done this kind of mischievous activity? We don't know who has done this kind of mischievous activities. They go and give fire and go, fly. A whole straw go down. Follow, police came, this, that. So what I mean to say, That life after life, you are suffering because you have sinful activities there. And as res result of your sinful activities, you will have to suffer. Nobody can suffer. Avashameva bhakta vyokrita karmam subhasubham. All your good and bad activities, result of your good and bad activities, you will have to suffer. Your father cannot suffer. Your mother cannot suffer. Nobody can solve. 
avasyameva bhaktyabhya kita karmam subhasubham. All what you have done, good or bad, result, you will have to suffer that result. Nobody can tell. So, if there is no, if there is no question of any Dibhagyan, how we can say, you have taken Diksha from a great devotee? Actual Dikha not done. It's false Dikha. It's not actual Dikha. It's false Dikha, na? Because Diksha, the meaning of this Diksha mean? Diksha, the word. What is the meaning of this word Diksha? Dibbo jnana yato dadyat kuryat papusya sankshayam. Dibbo jnana yato dadyat kuryat papusya sankshayam. It is called Diksha. The procedure through which you are getting the Kripa of Guru Padma and you are success, Guru De, and, uh, you are successful to get the Bhagyan from Guru Padma and the and the procedure through which you are going to burn up the result of all the you know, result of all sinful activities accumulated birth after birth. This is called Diksha. Dibbo Gyan Yato Dadyat Dibbo Gyan Yato Dadyat Kuryat Papusha Sankshayam. This is called Diksha. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking, see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu clearly speaking, Jai Krishna Tattva Veta Sai Guru Hoy. Try to understand, like, like in the court case. I like to establish some Siddhanta. You can ultimately understand what I mean to say. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, try to remember all what I, from the beginning I have started speaking. And you can tell you what I mean to say. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, Kiva vipro kiva nashish shudra kene noy jai krishna tattva vita seguru. It is the Siddhanta Vichar of Siman Mahaprabhu. Then, one Mataji, having total Dibhagyan, in my life also no, some Mataji is there. I used to pray Randava to them, give a kipa, so much power. Matajis. I know such Matajis. But she gone from there, not there. Writing books, writing books. But if you read that book, you can find surely he is not writing that book. No man can write this kind of book. No human being can write. Surely Shuddha Saraswati, surely pure Saraswati, Vishuddha Saraswati, appear inside her heart and write it. So rhythm, so, you know, choiceful word, idiom, phase, so impossible. As if, as if the writer, as if the writer Mataji, she was successful to see all direct Leela of Krishna. As if the writer she was, that Mataji, she was successful to see all the Leelas of Krishna directly, watching and writing. Watching and writing. Like Billa Mangal Thakur. Mahaprabhu himself was bound to speak in front of Raya Ramananda. Raya, it seems, it seems, it is the direct feeling of that writer. Lila Ashuk, Billa Mangal Thakur. What he is watching is right. Brahma, by the mercy of Bhagavan, what all he could realize inside her, everything, what he is watching inside her, Bhagavan swing, all Dham, Parikar, Vaishishto, all Javanaham, Yatha, Bhava, Yadrupa, Guna, Karma, Kaha, Tathiva, Vijnana, Mastute, Madanugraha. Eh? 
Gyanam paramam guhyangmi yad vijyana samanitam sa rahasam tadangancha gyana goditam maya. Brahma watching. All things, everything. Dham, Leela, the mood of Bhagavan, Sarupa Bhagavan, Shakti Vilas. And Brahma was bound to write this Brahma Sangita. Not a matter of joke. We are, we are getting, we are foolish. You don't know. We are getting only fifth part chapter of that book. Brahma Sangita is this. But we are getting only fifth chapter which Mahaprabhu collected from South India to establish all Siddhanta Vichars about the absolute thought of Krishna. Mahaprabhu was very happy. So I personally know that Matajis, they can do bhajan. They are so power, they can give kipa to us. So, we are not going to criticize about Matajis. We have full respect for Matajis. Because if I have no respect for Matajis, I can never get Tattva Jnana. It is the conclusion of Veda, all Sastra. If you can go through Puran, Mahabharat, all, you can see the all dignity of Matajis. On those days, at present what they are doing, I am less interested. But all Shastra are going to show those, those Matajis, they have a special position. Special, very special position in a society. They are very... Uh, so not that, not that Bhagavaji Mahapuran or Mahabharat or Bharadra Sangita are going to criticize Mataji. Not that. Only they wanted to say, they can act as Acharya, but Acharya means Upadeshta. You can, you can have Acharan and speak Harikatha in front of public, but due to some special secret reason, which you cannot understand if I explain. Because of some secret reasons, they are not allowed to, to give mantra. Due to some secret reason, they are not allowed to sit in Vyasasana. Even in Manu Sangita, without document, I am not speaking any word. In Manu Sangita, this much. In Manu Sangita, it is written that those Matajis, they should not lead their life independent. If you express doubt, I can show. Manu Sangita, Manu Maharaj, the important personality, the great personality, is writing volumes, what to do, what not to do, how to lead your life, all everything. Here it is written, those Matajis, they should not lead their life independent. They should depend upon guru or husband or brother or father, any. If father is devotee, I mean, not going to, in that case, otherwise many questions can come. Father is not, you know, favorable, how is, I am going to include all those factors. Whichever is feasible for you, according to time and circumstances, you should, Bhakti Muttagur also writing. Bhakti Muttagur also writing. So, It is not a question of fighting or criticism. So they can. Now, point is that we can find some Matajis, they are Rishi. They have seen mantra. Many Vedic, many Vedic mantra was compiled by Matajis. Rishi. They are not ordinary women. They are self-realized above anything. Now I can come to the point. No scope to discuss all in details. Day by day you can hear. So Mahaprabhu speaking, 
কীভাবে বিপ্র কীভাবে না সে শুদ্র কেন নয় যেই কৃষ্ণ তত্ত্ববেত্তা সেই গুরু হয় বিট ব্রাহ্মণ ব্রাহ্মণ ইস ন্যাচারালি গুরু বাট ইফ দে অ্যাকচুয়াল ব্রাহ্মণ বর্ণানম বর্ণানম ব্রাহ্মণ ও গুরু বর্ণানম ব্রাহ্মণ ও গুরু আই মিন ফর আদার বর্ণ আই মিন বৈশ্য শুদ্র ক্ষত্রিয় ফর দেম ব্রাহ্মণ ইজ গুরু প্রোভাইডেড দে হ্যাভ কৃষ্ণ ভক্তি দে হ্যাভ রিয়ালাইজেশন পাওয়ার দে আর নট ডিভিয়েটেড ফ্রম দ্য ট্র্যাক অফ ব্রাহ্মণিজম ফুল ব্রাহ্মণ ক্যারেক্টার দে টুগেদার উইথ কৃষ্ণ ভক্তি দেন তো কীভাবে প্রো কীভাবে ন্যাসি ন্যাসি মানে সন্ন্যাসী অশুদ্র রামানন্দ প্রভু রায় রামানন্দ প্রভু ওয়ান্টেড টু আইডেন্টিফাই হিমসেলফ অ্যাজ শুদ্র রায় মহাশয় রায় রামানন্দ ওয়ান্টেড টু আইডেন্টিফাই হিমসেলফ ফর শুদ্ধ হরিদাস ঠাকুর ওয়ান্টেড টু আইডেন্টিফাই হিমসেলফ অ্যাজ মুসলিম ফলেন জবান সো হোয়াট ইট কনসার্ন টু আস বিকজ উই নো দ্য পারফেক্ট সিদ্ধান্ত বিচার যেই কৃষ্ণ তত্ত্ববিদ্যা সেই গুরু হয় ওকে যেই কৃষ্ণ তত্ত্ববিদ্যা সেই গুরু হয় নাও আই ক্যান কাম টু দ্য পয়েন্ট নাও আই ক্যান কাম টু দ্য পয়েন্ট ইফ মাপ্রভু স্পিকিং যেই কৃষ্ণ তত্ত্ববেত্তা সেই গুরু হয় ওকে অ্যান্ড ইফ ইফ দে আর ব্রাহ্মণ বর্ন সাপোজ দে আর ব্রাহ্মণ বর্ণ দে আর টেকেন সেল্টার অফ ভক্তি সিদ্ধান্ত সরস্বতী গোস্বামী ঠাকুর প্রভাত দে আর তত্ত্ববিদ দে ক্যান নট অ্যাক্ট এজ অ্যাজ গুরু my question to you they can act as guru or not suppose they have taken shelter of bhakti siddhanta saraswati goshami dr prabhupa they have they have their life is dedicated unto the lotus feet of bhakti siddhanta saraswati goshami dr prabhupa they are having complete tattva gyan as per as per the confirmation of prabhupa as per the confirmation of prabhupa na because pope are told i am going to send some some such devotee they are as good as me that means is a can by the confirmation of pope we can say that they are acharya no yes or no you can say yes or no so according to legal procedure we can find 100% they can act as acharya yes or no by the confirmation of pope they are ach they have tattva gyan and achar and everything is confirmed by popa and sarup gosai they are not taking any garland from any mata ji they are not writing any wrong siddhanta they are not expressing any jealousy for somebody they are having overflowing mercy inside heart to deliver all bonded soul how i can say they are not you know qualified to act as acharya that's why prabhupad bhakti siddhant sarsu never wanted to make any acharya that's why prabhupad never wanted to make any acharya he didn't elect any acharya because he could not find any qualified person in his disciple if some foolish people going to speak this way he can get punishment or not he can get punishment or yes or no Hundred percent, he would be punished by Jamaraja. He would be punished. He is writing this way, speaking this way. Totally like child. If you are, if you are reserved personality, if you are at least reserved personality, you try to check yourself. At least you are not going to express. Maybe you have jealousy inside your heart. At least you, 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 you know. if you are not going to express then public at least cannot understand but by this kind of remark expressed by you everybody can arrest you everybody can arrest you legal procedure you can go to court one or two one or two procedure very easy it will take not ha happen hour in front of judge i can give all sastra document and say yes what is speaking wrong not even vaishnava society even court if you go 
though we should not go to court because our Vaishnava matter should be should stay you know in our society is it is wrong so so how you can say they are not qualified if they are qualified if Prabhupada, Prabhupada could easily Prabhupada could easily choose them as acharya a Prabhupada never wanted to make a judge. That's why they are not qualified, they are fallen. Prabhupada didn't, Prabhupada didn't think it necessary to elect any Acharya because there was no qualified person. If you are saying, then you are, then you mean to say, then what do you mean to say? Then you mean to say, Paramahasa Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, idiot number one, he is the number one responsible person to break the Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada. He is writing. He is writing. Srila Siddhar Goswami Maharaj is a culprit. Number one. He is going to break the bichar of Gurudev, Bhakti Siddhanta Saswe. That's why he started Guru Parampara. Then my question is that, okay, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj is an idiot. Then what about you? You think you are qualified to give Diksha? All the way you are speaking wrong, like, like one madman, crazy man. You think you are qualified? Okay, Siddhar Goswami is not qualified. Madhu Goswami Maharaj is fallen soul, they are not qualified. Bhakti Pumat, they are all qualified, not. See, are, but you think you, you are qualified? Then why you started giving Diksha to thousands of people? You are making the blunder mistake. You are making mistake, no? I don't find one sincere devotee. I don't find one sincere devotee who is ready to give his heart and soul, body, everything for Guru Vaishnava. I cannot find. Up to now, after Guru Varga, I don't find anybody. I don't find. Shikha Guru, Dikha Guru, they are gone, I don't find. Otherwise, they could protest. Otherwise, they could protest in exchange of their life, what you are speaking. Please stop your nonsense. But they are not speaking. Nobody. No protest. That means there is no acharya. No protest means no acharya. No protest means no acharya. Because it is the Pope. Because Pope told that it is the duty of an acharya. It is the it is the it is the only duty of an acharya to give protection to Siddhanta Bani. No protest, no preservation, eh? protection and preservation of Siddhanta Bani, that's why no Acharya, effective Acharya not there. Like mathematics, like mathematics, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 4, 8, no question of fighting. It is no question, it is like mathematics, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 4, 8, so there is no effective Acharya. If Acharya, then why near they are not complaining? They are not uh, protesting what kind of this Siddhanta Vichar. It's not. Everybody can speak you are foolish, but nobody is speaking. Whole world running wrong way. They have some particular, they have some particular, they have some ism, Guru ism. They are not interested about absolute truth. They have some particular, they have some ism. They, with this they are busy. But they are so foolish, they don't understand that this is the question. They don't understand. They are intelligent. They think we are intelligent. But they don't understand this is not the question of fighting. This is the question of survival of your real self. It is the question of survival. What you, what you are going to do? You can fight with me. What you can achieve? You can fight with me. What you can achieve? You can waste your time. Because I am speaking about absolute truth. You cannot prove that I am speaking wrong. No father can prove. So you cannot give any argument. You have no documents, nothing. So, one Acharya, who is writing all wrong Siddhanta, all compilation wrong Siddhanta, Acharan all wrong, taking garland from woman, everything, which is strictly prohibited. Mahaprabhu never approved it. Even looking at Mataji's, 
not approved by Mahaprabhu. But that doesn't mean we cannot look. Mahaprabhu, what Mahaprabhu wanted to say, with Dibbo Chakshu, with material eyes, you cannot see one woman. That is sinful. But with Dibbo Gyan, by your perfect eyes, rectified eyes, we can see. We can speak Harikatha to them, we can give answer to their question. What Popat, what Gorang Mapu wanted to say has some inner meaning. So this way we find, this way we think, this way we discover that the Acharya going, that Acharya, so called Acharya speaking, that all our Guru Varga, they are useless, they have no power to act as Acharya. Wanted to speak after Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada gone. There is a massive disturbance in Goryamat. Goryamat breakdown. <laughs> after hearing this, I am laughing. Goryamat breakdown. You are a material personality. Goryamat is not a construction of brick and, and stone. Even ABC, even ABCD of Gorya Siddhanta, you have no idea. Or maybe you had, maybe you had some idea before. After making aparad, you fall down. That's why you making this kind. Like the case of Vidya Vinod. Previously used to rise so nice, but after that all wrong Siddhanta. All wrong Siddhanta. Started writing all things wrong Siddhanta. Goryamat is not a construction of brick and stone. Don't think that. Goryamat is aprakito. You are going to ignore. You are going to ignore your connection with Goryamat. You are going to ignore your original connection with Goryamat. That is the main fault. That's why you are disconnected from. You are disconnected from, from, from Guru Parampara. Automatically. You are going to cut your relationship with Goryamat. That's why you are totally disconnected. No parampara power can come to you. That's why you're speaking all rubbish. If parampara connection there, you cannot speak any wrong Siddhanta. Because Siddhanta, Siddhanta which are not gymnastic feats. I can take on barbell and make her muscle up. This is not Siddhanta. Siddhanta which are is a question of kifa. Even one five-year boy, five-year boy of Advaita Gosai, Achyutananda, Speaking of Siddhanta, even your five years boy or Shivananda Sen writing Siddhanta, speaking Siddhanta, five years boy, small boy. How possible? This is my question to you. So all the way your bichar Siddhanta is wrong. You are going to misguide the whole world. You are going to misguide the whole world, so you can get punishment for infinity pure. Because you are guiding whole world, wrong direction. That's why you can get punishment for infinity pure. It is written in Shastra. I already told you, Jo bhakti nairohitam annayana srinatiya to ubho brajataha nirayam kalam akshayam. Akshayam means for infinity pure they can go to hell. Those who are misguide, misguiding their disciples. Those who are having actual idea about Acharya Tattva, Vaishnava Tattva, Guru Tattva, they fear. No, 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 no. I cannot become Acharya. I am not qualified. He can speak this way. Like Bhakti Balakti, I can speak day after tomorrow. He cannot speak this way. I am the only Acharya in the world. All idiot. He cannot speak this way. He cannot speak this way because there is no Trinadopi. That's why speaking this way. Our Goryo Bhakta, Prabhupada speaking, Prabhupada speaking, Prabhupada speaking, we Gorya, we Gorya never can deserve any credit for any speciality we have. For any speciality we have, we are not going to deserve, demand any credit for that. Anything special done by me, it is the rules, it is the Siddhanta Bicha. I have done by the power of Guru Varga. By the power of Guru Varga, I have done. Who am I? 
never, never Gosai Maharaj, Bhunu Gosai Maharaj, Bhakti Bodhi Bhittu Maharaj, they never told one writing you can show. We are the great preacher. They never say. They are speaking by the power of Prabhupada, we have done something. Ah, what we have done? Nothing. We have done nothing. Sadhananda Swami, what is, what kind of humbleness you can go through his writing? What we can do? What we can do? By Guru Kipa, we can do something. By Guru Kipa. I mean, Papa speaking, we Gaudiyas, we can never demand or deserve any credit for any kind of speciality we have or anything special we have done. We cannot deserve any credit for that. All credits, all credits, all everything, all honor, everything going to touch the lotus feet of my Guru Padma. And my Guru Padma is going to give all honor and respect, everything to Prabhupada. Prabhupada giving to Bhakti Mantra, Gorgusa. This way, all, you know, La Puja Patishta going to touch the lotus feet of Nityananda Valodam. No humbleness, nothing, your remark can prove that you have no humbleness. You are so part up. And one Vaishnava Aparadi can get punishment, heavy punishment. And I already told the day after day I can discuss some point. So, in Nama Parad, in Nama Parad is the topmost. Nama Parad, you can ten Nama Parad, you can find. But there, Nama Parad, Sadhu Ninda, to criticize Sadhu is the topmost. So, in I allow you, I allow you to approach me, to fight with me, from any direction. North, east, west, up, down, anywhere. I allow you, you can fight me, but you cannot come out successful. I can give you hundreds of examples. I can open books and so on. The uh, only thing you can do, you have a money power, you can kill me. That you can do. Or, or, or also you cannot kill me, because Nityananda was protecting me. I cannot seek this way. This you can do. Money power. You can add, apply hooligan, everything that you can do. That power you have, I don't know. I have. So, Parampujiva Santogoshi Maharaj, again, day after tomorrow I can discuss some point. Parampujiva Santogoshi Maharaj, our Guru Varga, most of our Guru Varga, they used to think of our younger brother. Shanta Maharaj was the younger brother of all of our Guru Varga. Very small boy, he came. My Guru Maharaj bring him from home. His name of father was Vaikuntha Babu. He was also a disciple, very nice. Very nice devotee. Father, mother, all family. And in home, there is also deity, uh, a name. What uh, deity? I forget. No. Madan Mohan or like that. Radha Madan Mohan. Eh? No. Anyway, so, simply because he is a small boy, but Prabhupada never wanted to approach that way. I already told him. The same Siddhanta I like to establish. Same Siddhanta I like to use. I like to establish the dignity of Acharya. You have no right to break the dignity of Acharya. You are offender. You cannot say Santukusima is a small boy, so he cannot. But Popat himself admit, Popat told, by watching his writing, Popat told to write one article to Radha Mohan, Brahmachari. Radha Mohan, his name was. He write one article and publish, and uh, the publish, Prabhupada, Prabhupada going to publish in Gauriya. <coughs> but the editor going to complain. Radha Mohan, a small boy, is writing wrong Siddhanta Prabhupada. You see what he is writing. Guru Sheva Khoi, eh, na, Kishner Sarup Hoi, eh, Jibesh Sarup Hoi, Jive Sarupai Guru Nityodas. We know, whereas we know, Jive Sarupai Krishna Nityodas. We never heard that Jive Sarupai Guru Nityodas. Radha Mohan writing this. 
the writing was presented, the writing was presented in front of Popat. Popat is Radhamon's small voice, has so much adversity, going to change Siddhanta which are writing wrong. Popat, what wrong? But he is writing Jibe Sarupai Guru Nitya Das. Popa smiling. But small boy writing so perfect Siddhanta. Ah! Perfect Siddhanta, yes. Small boy, how writing this kind of perfect Siddhanta? Is perfect Siddhanta, yes. Actually so. Actually so. Jibe Sarupai Guru Nitya Das. Krishna Nitya Das is okay. But Krishna, we have no connection with Krishna. Guru can come in front of us. So Guru eternal object. So, so we can, if we can identify this way, what wrong in it? Because we cannot have any connection with Krishna. We can connection with Guru. And whereas Krishna speaking, I am coming in front of you. Krishna speaking, I myself coming. So what wrong Siddhanta? What wrong Siddhanta? So Jive Sarupai Guru Nitya Das. Popat was very happy to see this Siddhanta Vichar. Any seva, any seva, any Siddhanta Vichar is not going to be defeated. Any seva. Radhamon, you can uh, you can go to Shamdesh, Barma, Barma. You can go that, that time in Barma, Rangoon, Rangoon, there was preaching of Goryamat. You can go there. You can go. Yes, I can go. Yes, I can go. You can go to you can go to Bangladesh, Dhaka. Yes, I can go. You can alone can go. Yes, I can alone go. Alone I can go. Small boy, so power. This way, Radhaman Brahmachari is never deviate, never defeated. Never defeated. Always powerful. By the keeper of Guru Path Padma. Always powerful. Some of our Guru Bhargo went to Rangoon, Rangoon. It's called Shamdesh. Barma, Shamdesh. It was under India previously. Now what happens, I don't know. So many island. And the one, and the one Nicobar Island. So many under India. It was totally. Here, there, left, right. But now, broken. They're taken all different. Sri Lanka was also, under, but after everything broken and gone. Divisive attitude. So he was sent, a small boy going to, uh, you know, for begging, begging mean, you can speak Harikatha, Harinam, and if they give something, my Madhukuri Bhiksha, he can bring. That's why Radhamon going different place, in the city, village, for, you know, preaching Harinam and Harikatha. If somebody asking question, he can give a fitting answer, small boy. If somebody asking question, the small boy can give such a fitting answer, then man cannot, you know, speak second time. One very rich man, owner of a big sweet shop, big sweet shop, Big sweet shop, there people can sit and take, and you know, so many people working there, and sweet, you know, there in the Almira, I mean, showcase. And one, our uh, Radharaman Prabhu used to go there sometime for begging and speak here now. One day, the owner of the shop, old man, is joking with the small boy. He find in for Goryamad one small boy coming. Hey, what you are doing, uh, Bhajan of Krishna? Eh? Speaking. You see, the name of sweet, different type of sweet there. The owner of the shop is a devotee of Kali. He used to love Kalima. Follow. I can also answer your answer today. <laughs> Kalima. El Kalima is Abhim. So he is going to call. If you need, if you need sweet ball, you you will have to. If you need sweet ball, there is code name. If you see sweet ball, they cannot give. Like you know, 
different you know, press, they have code number of books. I need 500A, this, oh, you need this code number, like Gorakhpur. Gorakhpur press, you will have to speak the code number of the book. They can find the code, oh, this book. So he is going to use code like sweet ball, like Shandes, dry, dry sweet, everything in different name. What is the name? Aima, Kamma, Kam Mother, Go Mother, Sit Mother, Speak Mother, different, in the name of Mother. All sweet is giving in the name of Mother. If you need sweet ball, you'll have to speak uh, Aima, Kamma, Kam Mother, you'll have to speak, then they can give. Follow. So, Santu Maharaj, they, they are joking with Santu Maharaj. We see, so many people, they are the devotees of Kali. Huh? We love Kali Ma. Ma is all powerful, you know. Then Santu Goswami Maharaj, they are joking with Santu Maharaj. Santu Goswami Maharaj is a very small boy. Then Santu Maharaj speaking to the old man. You are old man. What I can speak to you? Huh? What you can speak? You have anything to speak? Yes, I have something to speak. At the time of death, why you are speaking Balahori, Hari Bol? You can speak Jai Kali, Kali Bol. Why you are not speaking? When you are taking the dead body, why you are speaking? Balahari, Hari Bol, Ram Nam, Satya. You should not speak from tomorrow. That the old man becomes stuck up. <laughs> you should not speak. When you die, we can speak Jai Kali, Kali Bol. You can speak. Huh? Right? That the man is now set up. This way, all common sense, all the time. So, presence, presence of mind. Very intelligent, you should say. This way, Srila Santagusri Maharaj, growing up, and it is the approval of Prabhupada. Who are you to, who are you to pass any remark about our Guru Bhargava? Whereas Prabhupada already passed, you know, already passed remark. Give, you know, confirmation. One day, Srila Santagoshi Maharaj used to love me. I don't know why he used to love me. I enjoy his love. I could not love him. That is my negative point. Or I can love him not that much, maybe. Who can say? <laughs> so, Maharaj one day, one day started speaking to me. My son, one day, Prabhupada giving instruction to the in charge of the temple that today Radharaman Brahmachari can speak Harikatha. Eh? Yes, a small boy. In Gauriam or Gauri Mission. Gauri Mission, Calcutta. That time it was not broken. I can come to the point. Gauriam is not broken. You are broken. That's why I'm speaking this kind of remark. I can come to the point after some time. So, in charge. In charge going to speak to Radharaman Prabhu. It is the instruction of Prabhupada that today you will have to speak Harikatha. Huh? Really? Prabhupada giving instruction? Yes. It is the order of Prabhupada. Yes, to speak Harikatha. Well, I can speak Harikatha. No problem. Small boy, but no. <laughs> and everybody should sit. Not that I am senior, small boy. No. Everybody, all members of Gauriamat can sit. All members, big, big devotees, they are sitting. Small boy sitting in Vyasasan, uh, speaking Harikatha, started Guru Tattva, everything. And Prabhupada hearing Harikatha sitting in the balcony. <laughs> Prabhupada sitting in the corner of the balcony. Nobody knows. Prabhupada sitting in the corner of the balcony hearing Harikatha. What kind of Harikatha speaking? After Harikatha is over, Prabhupada enter into the room. Then uh, after Aruti is over, everybody coming to pay Dandavad. Prabhupada passing remark. Radharaman is a very small boy, but he is speaking so nice Harikatha. He is Harikatha. Popad, you hear? Yes, I was there in the balcony to hear. Santagosima was speaking, and uh, I mean, Radharaman Bhamachari, if I could, if I could know that Popad is here, sitting there, hearing, then it was not possible for me to speak any Harikatha. <laughs> Popad hearing from up. Santamara laughing in the old age and speaking to me. So this way, this way, they are all enjoying 
the approval of Prabhupada. Yes or not? Any guru, any guru Bhargava will speak to me, like Goswami Maharaj, Siddhanta Goswami Maharaj. You saw me? You saw me, any guru Bhargava. I can show you. That is the Prabhupada approved them. Prabhupada approved them. It was the approval of Prabhupada. Now you can say, Prabhupada also approved them, those who came, the latter left Prabhupada, okay, it is quite natural. Because if your, because if your objective, if your target is so high, follow, if your target is so high, in that case so many competition can be there, problem can be there, because our target is so high. So Maya Devi naturally coming to make problem. And those who are going to deviate from Prabhupada, they can feel disturbance due to Maya. There was some problem. It's externally there was some problem. But you should not speak that way. That Goryama break down. You cannot speak this way. Because in Vrindavan, Kongsho must be there. In Krishna Lila, Krishna Lila, Krishna Lila, if you discuss, in Krishna Lila, Kongsho must be there, Jarasandha must be there, Shishupal must be there, Dantavarko, Jotila, Kutila must be there. It's a must. Because you forget the, you, you forget the most important sloka. Many times before I discuss, Bhaktipat, Iho Kantaka Koti Ruddho, Ha 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 ka jami ki maham karo mi. Si chaitanya chandra yodhi nadam ki paham karo shi. He forget this sloka. If there is one very excellent goal, so precious, so precious goal, high, so many people coming to reach that goal. So it is the nature of Maya Devi to make some problem. It is the nature of Maya Devi. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, those who are taking sannyas and brahmacharya, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, those who are going to take brahmacharya or sannyas bhav, Maya Devi always going to disturb them. All demigods, all demigods in the heaven, they, one by one, they are going to make make problem with them, so that they can fall down. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, those who are going to enter into renounced order, Krishna Bhajan, perfectly, countless, countless problem can come in their life. Countless problem can come naturally in their life. Because the problem, problem are arranged, those, those problems are arranged by Mayadabi and demigods. Demigods. Why? Why? Demigods? Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking. Those demigods, they thinking, this man doing Krishna Bhajan, this man doing Krishna Bhajan, they can ignore us, transgress, they can ignore us and go to Golok, whereas we are confined in the material world. Demigods speaking, heaven is also material world. Heaven is also material world. Heaven is not transcendent law. Ah, fine, fine form. But material, material, not transcendent law. So, demigods thinking, how dare that man going to ignore us and go to, you know, climb that, you know, transcendental world, whereas we are now in heaven. Because after this creation is over, and Indra can get result according to his activities. Not that Indra can, second Indra, second, at present who is Indra, at present who is Indra, next creation, what is going to destroy and again, Kalpa, second Kalpa again. They are Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj is given this post of Indra. You know? You have idea? No idea. Bali Maharaj already allotted. Bali Maharaj is already allotted this post of Indra. Next, next Kalpa. This Indra 
can topple. Topple means go down. And according to his activities, karma fall, he can get result. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, those demigods, they are expressing jealousy. Oh, how dare he is going to cross us? You know, uh, he is going to, you know, go away, leaving us. He is going to ignore us. Oh, we can make problems. Then in the form of Uaban, in the form of La Puja Patishta, the demigods are standing, Maya Devi and demigods, making all problems. After that, if you are not fallen, then they are giving honor to you. If they are not successful to make you fall down, if they are not successful, if they are not successful to make you fall down, then after that they can give honor to you. Sarva is tatru shuraha. Then all demigods can help you. In the beginning, they can fight with you. They can send Maya. Hey, but after that, when they found that you have tremendous Guru Bhakti, you have tremendous, unlimited Guru Bhakti, then demigods are going to fold hand. They are coming in front of Bhakti Bhavad Puri Goswami They are coming in front of Bhangshidas Bhavaji Maha to pay Rannavad. Sarva gunis tatru shama sate suraha. Haru abhakta shakuto mahat guna mano rathen asato dhavato bahi. Many times I discuss this flow. You forget. So, we cannot speak this way. One high target is there, high target, the lotus feet of Radharani. Oh my God! Even Krishna going to climb, even Krishna going to reach that lotus feet of Radharani. Whereas we are thinking it is our lotus, it's a target, fighting must be there. If there is one goal, high goal, there is, you know, there can be so much competition, politics, it's uh, naturally. It's quite natural. Those who are not the Parshad of Prabhupada, those who are not the Parshad of Prabhupada, those who are count, those who are making some offense, aparat, they fall down. They fall down. So in Goryamat, Goryamat, if if I can prove, if I can prove that in Vrindavan there is Kangsha, Shishupal, Dantabarka and Mathura, in Vrindavan Putana coming, a Gokul, and Vrindavan Agashur Bakashu, so many Agashur Bakashu they are coming. Arishtasur, Brishasur, they are coming to make problem. There can be some problem. For that reason, you, you have no right to speak that Goryama. Those who are speaking this way, you go and search their death. Those who are speaking this way, I wanted to speak. You, you try to see their final, final consequence. Either they are applied by poison or by different kind of unusual death. Follow, abnormal. They are doing this. You should not. If I have my love, if I have my love for, if I have my love for Prabhupada, how I can speak? How I can speak this? So your darshan is totally negative darshan. Your darshan is not Vaikuntha darshan. Your darshan is negative darshan, Maya darshan. That's why you are speaking this way. Vaikuntha Darshan cannot allow you to find any fault with anybody. Vaikuntha Darshan means all perfect Darshan. If I am situated in Vaikuntha Darshan, somebody can you know already that that man also coming in with your wife, brother, coming and crying, I have done mistake. I cannot wait, wait, sit, take prasadam, sit. I know what, well, get out from me, I never speak. You can ask our Torun. Torun says, Maharaj, is coming again. Okay, you allow. Allow inside, go. Inside, go sala. Give prasadam. Don't give. You have done wrong. 
He has done wrong for that. I cannot do wrong. It's not good. Hello, make him sit. Uh, they like to meet you. Uh, they send you. I am now here doing some seva. You send them. I like to meet them. I speak so sweetly. I speak, speak so sweetly. I speak them. I am now international father. I am now international father. So in this respect, you are all my children. So if children doing mistake, if children going to kick me on my chest, for that I cannot also kick on the children. I cannot do. I speak this way, I am international father now. Because those who are taking sannyas and Baba base, they are Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking. They are the father of everybody. Father, all creation, all dog, all you know, every they are the father of everybody. They can should think things out. If you are not going to think yourself as the father of all creation, then there is wrong Siddhanta. So your darshan is not. I learned this kind of darshan from Bhakti Bhavatpuri Goswami Maharaj. I learned this kind of darshan from Sila Bhakti Dhyotu Madhu Goswami Maharaj. I learned this kind of darshan from Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. They teach me. So I never become angry. I angry when you are going to insult Guru Bharu. When you speak all rubbish to me, I am not angry. I cannot speak anything. So this way, you see, our darsh your darshan is Maya darshan, not Vaikuntha darshan. If your darshan is Vaikuntha darshan, then you could speak this way. If your darshan was, if your darshan is Vaikuntha darshan, you could speak positively. That you could speak that two lion cannot stay in a cave. You could speak this way. Two lion, two lion cannot stay at a time in a cave. All lion staying in different, different cage, different cave. Positive way you could speak. You could speak that Prabhupada didn't think it necessary to elect one Acharya because Prabhupada could see most of them can act as Acharya. You could speak this way. It is my request. What wrong in it? How you can attack me? How you can attack me? Before attacking, you should think twice. Why I can attack Maharaj? I'm speaking perfect Siddhanta. You could think this way, but you are thinking none of them was fit, qualified for Acharya. That's why Prabhupada never. Why? Then you are going against Prabhupada. Because already Prabhupada told, I am going to send such person as those as good as me. That means you are going to say, Prabhupada is also fallen down. Fallen soul. You like to speak, no? Prabhupada speaking wrong. So anyway, any direction, north, east, west, up, down, wherever you can approach, I can cut your Siddhanta, wrong Siddhanta, into pieces and throw away into garbage. Follow. You could think this way, that most of them were elevated Acharya. Siddhar Goswami is self-manifesting Acharya. Parame Madhu Goswami is self-manifesting Acharya. Srila Bhakti Mahatma is self-manifesting Acharya. Srila Goswami is self-manifesting Acharya. Srila Santu Goswami is self-manifesting Acharya. Then, how you can speak? If you are speaking this way, then you are going to put yourself in problem first time. Because how you are acting as a charity. If they are not qualified, if they are not qualified, you are also not qualified. Why you are acting as a charity? And what seva you have done of Prabhupada? You show me. What seva? Our Guru Bhargava, they are dedicated soul. All done their life, all dedicated. What seva you have done in your life? What seva? You have done no seva. You have done no seva. No seva you have done. But now, you are going to claim you are the topmost Acharya in the world. Who can tolerate it? Prabhupada can tolerate it? Or Bhaktivinoda Thakur can tolerate it? When you are going to pass this kind of remark, that means you are going to lose your patience. When somebody is going to pass, when somebody is going to pass this kind of remark, that means surely he is going to lose his patience. And why going to lose patience? Because he expects Lapuja Patisha totally. 
he expects love puja for my, for his own self. So you see, like mathematics. Why you are passing this kind of remark? Because you are losing patience. Why you are going to lose your patience? Because you wanted to collect all La Puja Patishta yourself. You, you never wanted to give the share of La Puja Patishta to your Godfather. Whereas Siddhar Goswami, Madhu Goswami, you, you show me one. I want to request the whole world, not to you only. I request the whole world, you can search all writings of our Guru Varga, you find they are going to criticize something against nice Vaishnava, pure Vaishnava. Okay, so you show me one. My Guru Padma was speaking all rubbish, or Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Kesha Goswami Maharaj. At all they are speaking something heavy. They are speaking for non Vaishnava. Those who are deviated from the track of Prabhupada. Because Prabhupada already told, slightest deviation from the track. Prabhupada already told many times, slightest deviation from the track of Guru Padma can throw you away from Vajan. So all your activity, all your writing, all your Harikatha, you bring me, you bring to me. With cool brain, with neutral mood, not with particular. One by one play, I can show you, they are speaking wrong. With particular, if you can, I cannot say, I have no time to fight. Neutral position. You can come open one by one. I can show you. They are writing wrong. I can make red mark. They are writing wrong. So when writing wrong, be sure he is not the genuine disciple of Prabhupada. Genuine disciple. A, gen a genuine disciple of Prabhupada can never make any mistake. Not possible. You cannot find any wrong Siddhanta in the writings and speech of Kesha Goswami in the writings and speech of Siddhar Goswami Madhu Goswami You show me. Bhakti Mahapuri. One, one, one wrong Siddhanta you can show me. One. I like to see one. Because they are in line with Guru Parampara. They have full respect in their heart for Guru Parampara. Those are going to ignore Guru Parampara, Bhakti Mahapuri writing in the commentary of Upadeshamrita. By chance you cannot read Bengali. By chance you cannot read Bengali. Upadeshamrita commentary I can bring next day, Bengali, I can read what Bhakti Mahapuri told. Those who are going to make some separate Siddhanta, Bhakti Mahapuri speaking, surely they want to start one new line. They want to start one new line, new. Because they have fallen. They have fallen. That's why they like to start one new, new line. In Hindi Upadeshamrita commentary, I am also, also speaking so much. One, one sloka. So long time discussion going on. One, one sloka of Upadeshamrita. If you hear, you can go mad, Maharaj. We never thought that way. We never thought that way, that's so inner meaning there in the writing of Rupa Goswami Bhatt. We think Upadeshamrita, why? Nothing. Bacho Begam, Manasaha, Krodha Begam, Jiva Begam, Mudar. It's quite natural. But one, one word I am explaining for weeks. One, one word. Utsahat, Nishchat, Dajjat, Tattat, Karma, Pavartanat. One, one word. Utsaha. Utsahat, Nishchat. What is Utsaha? Utsaha. Utsaha means inspiration. Entrepreneurship. I can do. Ah, very nice seva. Utsaha. Backing. Inspiration. Only one word. Utsaha. I started explaining for weeks. Weeks after weeks. Nishchat, what do you mean by Nishchat? Nishchat means confirm with fixed determination. One word. If you hear, you cannot believe, Maharaj, this kind of inner meaning is there. Yes. By one word, with Nishchat. Dojjo, Dojjo, patience. One word. Weeks after weeks, discussion. Now going out, tat tat karma pavartanat. Tat tat karma pavartanat. 
They are also going for weeks discussing. So inner meaning, so sweet. I can apply it also here. Yeah, our discussion I can apply it also. Can to, to show you. <laughs> Follow. Also I can find I can show you direct application. Direct application. Effective application, you know. So Nishyat mean I can speak a few lines, so time cannot come. Nishyat mean confirmation. Nishyat mean confirmation. Do you think do you think I have no stability? Do you think I have no stability of my life? Or you think no, you are you are confirmed. Nishya. Nishya mean I am definite about my goal. If you are not confident about your own goal, you are right. I am speaking all right. No father can prove wrong. Confident. That means Nishchai. Without Nishchai confirmation, then your bhajan is unstable bhajan. So long, so long as you are not, so long as you are not going to climb on the platform of stability and confirmation. Till then, I cannot say your bhajan is pakka, perfect, and you can meet with success in future. I can speak. Because you have instability. So when you are speaking some unstable Siddhanta about Gauriya Mart, Gauriya Bichar, then you have no stability. By chance you are successful as a platform speaker or as a canvasser. By chance. Otherwise, how is possible to to how is possible that you are speaking this way? So there is no nisha, no confirmation. About Prabhupada, about Gauriya Mart, about Gauriya Bhajan, you are 100% not sure that uh, maybe, maybe, there can, maybe there can be some fault with Prabhupada. This is your idea. Your vichar, what you are speaking, is like that. Uh, maybe Prabhupada can also make some mistake. Prabhupada can make mistake, idiot, rascal. You are not sure. That means, no stability of a vajra. So I apply here. Dajya mean patience. When you can get patience, when you have 100% love for Guru Pat Padma. When, when I have my love for Guru Pat Padma 100%, then I cannot ask, I cannot expect anything in return. When I have my pure love by Guru Pat Padma, when I have my love for Guru Bhattva, pure love for Guru Bhattva, surely I cannot expect anything in return from Guru Bhattva. Because I am doing Guru Seva. So I can give, uh, give me something. Follow. If I have, if I have hundred percent faith in Guru Charan, if I have hundred percent faith in Guru Charan, that means I have hundred percent faith in Nityananda Balaram, that's when I have 100% faith in Bhagavan Sri Krishna Radharani Mahas. If no 100% faith, then I can lose patience. How many Siddhanta I can discuss in my life? Infinity Siddhanta. The moment you are deviated from the track of Guru Padma, you can lose your patience. Then you can run for love, puja, patisha, you can speak, or ravish, against pure, pure Vaishnavas, you can speak. Ramchandra Kabira, Ramchandra Puri, no patience. Because he is deviated from the track of Guru Pātvata Madhavendra Puri. So he is going to give a lesson. So he is going to give a lesson to Guru Pātvata. Mind it. He is going to give a lesson to Guru Pātvata. Oh, why you are crying? Actually, why you are losing patience? Why you are crying? You are Brahma. He is giving, he's going to give lesson to, he is going to give lesson to Guru Pātpad. You see the adversity. You see the adversity. You are going to give, you are going to pass this kind of rebank against your all Sikha Guru. 
Shridhar Goswami is your Sikha Guru. Madhav Goswami is Sikha Guru. All Sikha Guru. But you think you are competitor with them. You think you have... I told, you are not... You think you, think you are the friend of Siddhar Goswami. But I told, 100%, you cannot even serve Siddhar Goswami. You cannot become a servant of Siddhar Goswami. You cannot become a servant of Siddhar Goswami. Even you cannot serve Siddhar Goswami as a servant. You demand you are friend of Siddhar Goswami. This is your, this is your adversity. This is adversity. You have to find fault in Siddhar Goswami. Kesha Goswami, they are all fault. They are all, all done wrong. Only you are perfect. You want to prove. So, Popa speaking, those who want to project themselves as a Vaishnava, Prabhupada speaking, Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada speaking, those who want to project themselves as Vaishnava, surely they are non Vaishnava. They are branded non Vaishnava. Prabhupada using this word. Prabhupada using this word. Those who are going to, those who are going to, those who are going to project themselves as Guru, as Acharya, Vaishnava, Papa speaking, they are branded of Vaishnava. I can give stamp, thak, they are not Vaishnava. Confirm. All Siddhanta Vichara Prabhupada I speak. Now it is Your Highness to take all Siddhanta Vichara positive way. Don't think me wrong way. If you take me wrong way, you can fall down. Nothing to do. You should understand the Siddhanta. I am not going to fight with anybody. So, our Shantagoshi Maharaj, he has done Havak Guru Sheva. But after Popat gone, there was some unusual incident. I know everything, but I am never going to explain in a negative way. I never wanted to accept those negative ways. It is the question of survival of the fittest. After Prabhupada gone, it is the testing. After Prabhupada gone, it was the testing. It is the question of survival of the, of the fittest. So, Siddhar Goswami is survival, fittest. Personality, Kesha Goswami, Bhakti Goswami, survival. Whole life they are not going to do any wrong thing. But you say they have no quality to act as a chariot. What kind of heavy punishment you can get? Whereas you are acting as Acharya. If I put question, who give you order to become Acharya? When I, whereas you are speaking, who give order to Siddhar Goswami attack? I say they are self, self manifesting Acharya. Who make you Acharya? You speak me. You speak me. Who make you Acharya? You are speaking, acting as Acharya. You are collecting some money, power, this or so, you can say, you can become Acharya. You can speak. But there is documents that you are not Acharya. Siddhanta Vichar that you are not Acharya. So, Acharya is self-manifesting. Santo Goswami, who is who going to make Santo Goswami Acharya? Who is going to make Santo Maharaj Acharya? Who is going to make, you know, our Guru Ma, I know, Siddhanta Siddhant Goswami Maharaj Hajjo, Goswami Maharaj Hajjo. They are self-manifested Acharya. You have no right to speak anything. You have no right to speak anything against them. Santo Maharaj is Seva, if I go on speaking, it will take time. Only one or two feelings I can speak. I think no time there. During, we lost everything. Bhakti Vallab Tittu Goswami Maharaj gone. There is some back end. We cannot fill up the blank. His kirtan. Like Krishna Babaji Maharaj gone. We cannot fill up the blank. You cannot fill up the blank of Krishna Dada Babaji Maharaj. You cannot fill up the blank of Santu Goswami Maharaj. How nice kirtan. One or two feeling I can speak only. No time. Excuse me. During Gaur, Gaur Dham Parikrama, I cannot speak in long, but the time is similar. 
during Navadip Dham Parikrama, it was the responsibility of Srila Santu Goswami Maharaj, given by Bhakti Bilas Sittu Goswami Maharaj. You will have to guide all preaching team. Thousands of devotees. Santu Maharaj taking the danda, taking danda and singing kirtan like mad. Kirtan, so nice. All Navadi Dhamparaya, wherever going, he, they need not mic. Their voice is so high, so nice. During Rasa Yatra, Gundicha Mandir, oh my God, Santokasya Maharaj is there, mean it is actual Gundicha Mandir. Santogu Sant Pampe, Santogu Sri Maharaj, Sila Bhakti Pumatpuri Goswami Maharaj, Sila Bhakti Doito Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Oh, ho! It's like Vaikuntha. Even I don't like to go to Vaikuntha. I like to stay with them. Yes, if you like to say, I, I like to stay with uh, Santogu Sri Maharaj, and you know, Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Oh, it's more than Vaikuntha. Ah, ah. Yesterday I told, na, one sloka. Najatra Vaikuntha Katha Sudhapaka eh? No Sadhavaha I scroll this sloka. Today I have no time to explain. Next day after tomorrow I can explain. Follow. I can explain this sloka. So you can understand it is more than Vaikuntha. Everybody, Mataji, man or woman, Small boy, old lady, with enthusiastic mood, taking one boon and cleaning Gandhi Chamajan and singing Kirtan. So nice Kirtan. Santokishma was singing, singing Kirtan and doing Manjan. Reciting Chaitanya Charitamito in, inside Gandhi Mandir. All devotees, they are mad, crazy. During Ratha Yatra, Jagannath in front of in front of Jagannath, Madhav Goswami was dancing, Bhakti Bhaktipuri Goswami was dancing, Santu Goswami was dancing, more than Vaikuntha. Ah, they are dancing. This is called Santu Goswami Maharaj. This is called Santu Goswami Maharaj. One Santu Goswami Maharaj is more than sufficient. More than sufficient. We have no right to criticize them. We are lucky. We are lucky going to get this kind of our Guru Varga. I am proud of our Guru Varga. I am proud of our Guru Varga. Who father there? Who can dare to criticize them? I can break their face. Destroy their face. Fist of fury of Siddhanta Vichar. Not with this fist of fury. Fist of fury of Siddhanta Vichar. I can destroy them. So next day, Najatra Vaikuntha Kata Sudha Bhaga No Sadhavaha Bhagavata Ha Tadasraya. I can discuss this Siddhanta day after tomorrow. Now, you can remember the sloka I started with. I already explained. Achajyur Aranir Adyo Shat Ante Vaoshi Uttar Arani Tat Pravachanam Sanyanam Vidya Sandhi Shukhava. Jai Parampujvya Sri Santu Goswami Maharaj ki jai. Jai Sila Oviram Gopal ki jai. Oviram Gopal is the one of twelve Gopal. Twelve Gopal, Dadas Gopal. Out of that, Oviram Gopal is that. Oviram Gopal, I already told, without changing this body, he was in hidden form in Govardhan. Now Nityananda Balaram, by the order of Gauranga, Nityananda was going to catch him and bring him here. So long Siddhanta Vichar, I don't have to discuss. Abhiram Gopal also going to bless us because today his disappearance tithi and Sri Santu Goswami is Abhir Bhapti. Bancha Galpatur Goswami. Kipasindu Bhavaj. Patitanang Pavana Bhavishnabhyo